everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video today, I'm gonna to show you how to enable super resolution, which is basically AI upscaling in Firefox. So the first thing you'll need to do is make sure you have Firefox version 126 installed. Once you have done that, you can go to your desktop, right click and go to NVIDIA control panel. So inside the NVIDIA control panel, just go to the video setting on the left, then adjust video image settings. And here you'll see a new option called RTX video enhancement. And as you probably already guessed, you'll need an RTX video card. So any of the older models won't be able to give you this feature. Then simply just click the super resolution box, make sure it's ticked, and then you have an option for quality. So it's best to just leave it on auto, though each one of these options here is a different uh, quality settings. And you'll also notice it says inactive here. So once you have a video playing that is actively being upscaled, this status here will change and it will show you which of the four options it's upscaling to. So auto is the best, it's just easier to use. You don't have to worry about the quality or the connection, it just does it pretty well by itself. And below this, you'll also see an option called high dynamic range. So this will upscale standard dynamic range videos to high dynamic range videos using AI. This option is a little bit hit and miss, and it also requires a HDR capable monitor. So not everyone's gonna have this option. So you can either skip it if you like, or if you have the option to use it with the HDR monitor, give it a go. But as I said, the results kind of vary a bit. Once you have chosen what you want, just click apply and the changes will take effect. Now that will pretty much work across all video playback on your system. So this video is obviously for Firefox, but you'll also get the same effect if you're watching some low quality content in VLC, it will automatically upscale as well. And if you just want to check if it's actually working, you can come across and look at the status information here and it will tell you which one of the quality settings it's using, proving that it is actually working. Anyway, that's it for this guide. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on another video. Cheers, everyone.